Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today's video is going to be quite interesting. I'm going to do a review on the Oregon Blade Balancer. I'm going to show you over here on the bench in a second here. And uh, I have three sets of blades for my lawn tractor. It takes three blades. So I got nine blades plus I got a lawnmower, push lawnmower, ten blades. So I'm going to show you here this uh, contraption that I bought. And we're going to take a look and see whether you actually need one of these. Because I looked at quite a few videos on uh, YouTube. And I'll tell you something. I've been balancing my own blades for years and years and years. And I'm going to take these blades. One, I got three that I, I balanced myself. And I got brand new blades that I just showed a little while ago that came with my mulching kit that I'm going to install this year up at my camp in Northern Ontario. And uh, we're going to take a look and see whether the brand new blades are balanced from the factory and whether the blades that I sharpen myself show that they are balanced or whether maybe my balancing is off, right? So let's take a look at this rig and uh, let's see whether you need to invest in one of these blade balancers or whether the old fashioned way of just doing it yourself works. So let's take a look. Well, the first thing I thought about when I was thinking about purchasing this is you have to mount it on a wall or somewhere. And I thought, okay, so where in my shop could I actually install this that is practical, that's not going to be in my way where I'm not bumping into it all the time. And uh, I'll show you where that is. But you know what? There's not too much free hardware on my, uh, on my uh, working surfaces. And I thought about maybe I just put it temporarily like right here where it's close to where I'm sharpening most of the time. And I thought, nah, you know what? I like to have it installed where it's exactly nice and level and, you know, it's not going to be getting in my way. I'm not going to bump into it. So I decided I'm going to install it right over here. So let's go over and let's take a look at this uh, setup first. And... We'll see. So here's the brand new blades that I got. And of course, they always ship you dull blades. So all I did was take the paint off, the brand new mulching blades, and just ran my file along it. So that's all I've done. So here is the, uh, the rig here. I'll just show you the box first. Made in Italy. I thought that's pretty good, right? Uh, I like that. And this is the uh, part number, 42-047 and come with the instructions. I've read all the instructions and here's the rig right here and it's got uh, two mounting holes to mount it on with. I'm going to use these uh, quarter inch screws. Now I put the washers on there because if you're putting something on and you want it to be nice and plumb, at least when you got some we are working with wood, you can tighten one screw down more than the other and put shims in if you want or anything else and it makes it quite easy but we're going to go over and install that and see how it works out. And here's my old blades. I sharpen them myself. I've showed how to sharpen my blades before. I'll put some links at the end of the video if you'd like to see how I do it and uh, how I balance them. But uh, let's mount this on the wall right now and uh, we got to get it nice and plumb. Now they're saying you could be five degrees off well I don't like being five degrees off anything so I mean I'm gonna get this pretty straight we'll see how we do and uh, we'll mount it on the wall and I'll show you how this works and first thing we're going to do we're going to check these blades because I never balance these all I did was just uh, take the paint off and just uh, reveal the uh, edge below and just sharpen it a bit so let's get to it right now I don't know if you can see from there but I did already drill a couple of holes matched up with the spacing on this uh, this jig here and uh, I'll just uh, fire in a couple of holes there now so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my uh, ratchet set out so I can just tighten these manually. I don't want to be firing in with the gun and uh, making the holes worse. So what I'm going to do is just manually tighten this down and then we'll put the level on. Okay, so let's just tighten her down a bit here. 
Now I put a washer in there because if I didn't put a washer in there, well, it's going to turn on the, uh, uh, the surface below and just probably take all the powder coating off. So I thought I'd put a washer in there first so it'll turn on that. Okay, so I just want to get it torqued down a little bit tight. And then we're going to come over with the level and we're going to see how level that is against the wall. Okay, there we go. She's all mounted in. And uh, the only thing I had to do was I had to crank down on the bottom fastener a little bit more to make it as level as I could. So what I did is I got my good level. It's not like a cheesy level or something, right? And uh, I clamped it right on the base. So let's take a look and see how good the level is on this. Because I'm saying that's pretty good to me. Uh, I don't know how more level you can get it, but I don't have any type of gauge that would show five degrees offset or anything. So we're going to go with that right there. I'll take all the clamping hardware off and let's just put the brand new blades on one at a time and see whether they're level or not. Okay, so let me just show you how this actually operates. This slides in and out like this. And it also has this rod underneath here. I'll show you that after so you can check for a bent blade. But uh, this is pretty good design. And I tell you, there's very, like, it's hard. You're not going to find any slack in this. It was actually uh, designed and machined very well. So what we're going to do is you put the blade on like this. You slide the cones back. These magnets grab a hold of the blade. And... Uh, you're looking for to tell the balance whether it's level or not. So if it's within 15 degrees of being horizontal, then it's level enough to be considered balanced. You're actually using level. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at that and let's put one blade on at a time. And I've numbered my blades, one, two, and three. And they're saying that you have to put the blade on with the uh, cutting edge facing the jig. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so let's put the first blade on and uh, I'll just put it on here. You can see I put the number one on and it's attached there. Let's give her a little spin. Round and round she goes. Where she ends up, nobody knows. So let's just see how level that is to indicate the balance. Okay, so I don't think you're supposed to just give it a spin all the time. You'd be there forever, right? So let's just see where she ends up here. Whether these are balanced from the factory or not. Yeah, the next time I won't be going through the, the the spin rotation because that takes way too much time. I think if you just stick it on, just let it go do its thing, it'll be fine. But you can see right there, like that's, that's pretty good right there, wouldn't you say? So let's just do a little bit of a test here. I'm gonna get a little piece of paper. Like this is not, you know, there's no weights on this, right? Like how light is a piece of paper? And let's just slide it over the end to see how sensitive it is. Wow, check that out. Like I'm just trying to think the amount of material you could take off with like a piece of paper like this is probably two swipes of a file. So that is pretty good. So let's put number two on. And by the way, these are all, uh, boy, they hold on there pretty good. These are all uh, MTD original blades. So let's put the second one on here. Now there's a little bit of something in there. Yeah, if we take a look at here, I don't know if you can see it or not, there is like a little bit of slag or something on there. I think I knocked most of it off. Okay, so let's go this to the second one. Just bring it back to the grabs. Like that, that, that's pretty good right there. I'd say, my God, I mean, 
Again, we'll just put a piece of paper on the end. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just that little piece of paper was enough to get this thing turning. I mean, I don't know what kind of a ball bearing system they have in there, but I mean, it's pretty good. I would say, uh, I'm almost afraid to put the blades on that I balanced myself. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Is that not nice or what? Like they're saying within 15 degrees, right? It's a mower blade. Come on. You're not uh, sending this up into space. Okay, that's pretty good to me. And there was a little bit of slag on this one here. Okay, let's go to the third blade here. Push it in. That's pretty, that's pretty good right there, I'd say, like, wouldn't you? Let's just leave it like this. Yeah, you got to wait a little bit for it to balance out, but I mean, I'm, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm not too sure if I want to show you my blades that I balance myself now. <laughs> okay, there's number three. And again, I'll just chuck a little piece of paper on there and you could see how that little bit of paper makes a huge difference and I am surprised that that would even happen. So let's go on to my blades. Okay, let's reset it. And I'll tell you, the blades that I got, yeah, I have a little bit of oil on them, uh, but they're not mulching blades. They're the regular MTD blades that I got with the lawn tractor. And uh, let's put them on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now that, that, that's not indicating a good thing to me. Let's just put it in the center and see what happens here. I never knew that a piece of paper would be that sensitive to throw a, you know, the balance off. But I'm saying that that blade is nowhere near 15 degrees. Look at that. I mean, that's not a good sign, right? Okay, let's go on to the next blade. Here's the second one. I mean, you don't see any nicks really, like on all these blades. They're not beat up and chewed or anything like that. So, you know, when you're thinking about, when you're thinking about, you know, a blade that's all beat up, I, it's hard to balance. But I mean, let's just put a piece of paper on the top here and see how much it would take to balance that blade out. I mean, come on, it turned it right around the other way. So let's just cut this paper in half. I mean, just, I want you to visualize how much a piece of paper is and how much weight it is. That's a half piece of paper. So, I mean, imagine the amount of filings taken off. So, you'd have to take a little more than that piece of paper off to balance that blade. And I'm thinking, okay, just add a little bit of more paper. And that's actually more than 15 degrees right there in weight. And look what it took to turn that off. That's how sensitive this is. So let's go on to the last blade here. The 
this one's going in the opposite direction and it's heading south real fast. <laughs> but just think of it, you know, like, let's just add this piece of paper on right here so it'll come down a bit. Well, if that's not enough to bring her over, let's add another piece of paper. We're going to add two pieces of paper like before. We'll bring it over here. And what if we just add a little piece at this end? See how that little piece of paper brought that up? I mean, wow! That is just incredible, blows my mind. Just, let's take the paper off. Just blows my mind. Now, of course, this is for, uh, you know, a lawnmower. We're not designing something to go into space. But right there, that would indicate to me that this, well, what do you think? I mean, this is so obvious to me that I had no idea. Okay, so before I wrap this up, I want to show you another feature of this that uh, a lot of people should know about, and it's the uh, to make sure that your blade is not bent, and we'll go to that right next. Okay, so what you're looking at there is the, a little bit of an attachment, and it's just a, an L piece of uh, steel that's bent out. I put some tape over top of it so it'll, uh, it'll focus in on the camera lens. I blocked out the back there, and as you turn your blade, so I got the, the mulching blade on the new one. As you turn the blade, you can see the distance. See how close it is down here? You turn the blade around, and it's got to be pretty close to the same distance, right? So these are brand new blades. So let's put on my, my old blades. Let's see if they're bent at all. Okay, so I got the, uh, the one blade on there, and let's just take a look. See the diff distance in between there? And then we rotate it all the way around the other way. The distance between there. Well, there is a bit of a difference there now, isn't there? But there's not that much of a difference to say it's bent. So let's go on to the next one. I'd like to just verify this for myself. Because I've never... It's pretty hard to tell if a bent blade is just slightly bent. So let's just take a look at there. You see the gap there? Let's go around the other side. There. And uh, we'll do the third one here. I think that's a, a good thing to actually check. Now that's pretty close there. And that's not so close there, is it? Let me just see if I can take it off Remount it, see if there's any difference. So that's pretty close there, isn't it? And this one here, like that's quite a bit of a gap, but how far do you say this blade is bent? I mean, when you think about it, this is the, the arch from the factory. So I mean, yeah, it's a little bit out. But I've never noticed a vibration in this or anything, but I would say it's a little bit out. How far out? I don't know. How good is how good is bad, right? I mean, look at that. That's pretty tight there. And we get over to here. It's a little bit. So, I mean, whether that's just in the manufacturing process, I don't know. But I'll show you the jig uh, not so zoomed in so you can get a better idea of what I'm actually doing here. Okay, so you could see how this rod just attaches in there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, to me, this distance here on this blade, not that much off, but uh, I would say, no, that blade is maybe just bent a bit. But, I mean, I never hit nothing with this, really. So, I mean, uh, I'm thinking... No, I don't believe it's bent, but I mean, it's not perfect either. Because I do notice a lot better, you know, tolerance between the other blades. 
and the new blades from the factory are pretty spot on so I'm thinking maybe I'm blaming this on my daughter <laughs> so that's what I'm going with so I'll be keeping an eye on that and see if there's any vibration in the deck or anything but you know what you guys let me know what you think about this balancing thing because I think it's pretty cool well thanks for joining me here today I mean look at this I mean, just like night and day, I've got to definitely rebalance uh, them. And uh, I'll be sure to take very little off each side because you see how much that just a piece of paper can make a difference, right? So I like the machine. I highly recommend it. I think it's a good jig for balancing your blades. And uh, I never knew, you know, how sensitive something could be. But I'm, I'm saying... <laughs> It's a keeper. I'm glad I bought this. I'll be using it quite a bit. And uh, I think maybe for a lot of people balancing it, you know, just on a nail or, you know, using geometry like I did, you know, on the six stars. Uh, well, it, it's not that far off because if you just take a look at the amount of weight from the little pieces of paper that make a difference, how sensitive do you want to be? Because, you know, this here, in this position, should be like this. And if you want a really good balanced blade, the Oregon is the way to go as far as I'm concerned. I have tried them once before, you know, the little cone and you know, I thought like they were like so dodgy. I mean, uh, I didn't like using them at all. Um, well, I'm sold. <laughs> and I was surprised because, you know, at first I thought, well, you know, like it's a mower blade. Like how, what's the difference, right? It's not that big of a deal. But I was proven wrong. I mean, look at this right here. And as far as the blades being bent, uh... I don't know in the processing of uh, the blades themselves whether they're that stamped that accurately because in my mind you know if this was if this was bent I would surely know it and I'm thinking like when I took the measurements off of the, the ends here uh, were they bent I don't know I mean you really can't put like a straight edge on this could you you couldn't really put a straight edge on to tell the difference so I'm saying my daughter hit something <laughs> that's what I'm saying <laughs> so thanks for joining me here today I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a review of the uh, Oregon balancer and uh, impress the hell out of me if you haven't seen this channel before you're welcome to subscribe come back again and see some more interesting things that uh, I review, I buy myself, and I give you an honest opinion. And you've seen it all right here. Cheers.